In this video, we're gonna talk about customizing your GitHub organization. You probably know you can customize your GitHub profile and you probably know you can customize your GitHub organization, but did you know that you can customize your GitHub organization for members and non-members? So you can have two GitHub organization customization. That's a lot in one sentence, but hopefully it makes sense. So I actually have two GitHub accounts, which I don't highly recommend, but I have one for testing. So I do everything in my main GitHub account and I'm part of the Eddie Hub organization and I get to see this customized GitHub organization. If I switch over from Safari to Chrome, I'm logged in with my second test account and you can see I'm not part of the Eddie Hub organization. And I also get to see the customized GitHub organization account for Eddie Hub. However, I probably want to make it a little bit different. I probably want to maybe make these icons to join YouTube and Discord maybe higher to the top because this person is a member. I probably want to encourage them to join as a member as well. So that might be at the top too. So how can we make it so that a member sees something different to a non-member? Non well, it's actually not too bad. So here we have repositories in the organization. I'm doing this under my account because it has access to create files and repos and so forth. And the way to customize your GitHub organization is to create a readme.md file in the profile folder in a repo called .github in the, your organization. But if you want to do one for people that are members to be slightly different, then we can create another repo called dot github hyphen private and use the same path profile forward slash readme. I personally would have liked it to be in the same repo, just maybe in a different folder like profile hyphen private or something like that. Just my opinion, but not the end of the world. I just don't want too many repos. And in this repo, it's pretty, pretty empty. So having it in the same one, you know, wouldn't have made much difference. But maybe they'll add that as a feature in the future. So let's get started. Let's create a repo for members. So if I click on add new repository, not under Eddie, we'll create it under Eddie Hub and then we'll call it dot GitHub hyphen private. OK done and it's going to be github org custom custom org custom org that doesn't make any sense custom github org for members ha that makes more sense and um, we're going to make it public pretty sure it needs to be public we'll add a readme and we'll make it uh, mit and we don't need image bots let's just create that so now this is this repo under the Eddie Hub organization and we need to create a new file which is going to be the same as before profile forward slash readme.md and let's just say welcome Eddie Hub member because they're going to be a member if they're seeing this so let's have let's just create it i recommend using really good commit messages but for this one let's have a look so if i go back to the organization we see the same thing. Hmm. Okay, maybe it needs a moment to, to load. And then if I go to the other one, which is in Chrome, if I refresh, this I'm expecting to see the customization from before. However, me being a member, I am logged in as Eddie on here, as you can see the difference. This is Eddie. And this other one is logged in as my Eddie Jow 2. So it's the test one. So if I refresh it, it may need a moment. Okay, so the one thing I noticed I did wrong is this repo needs to be private. So this new one that I've just created, I mean, it's got private in the name, Eddie, but I just thought, you know, keeping everything open source would make sense, but it needs to be private. So it's actually really, really private for um, members. So let's have a look. So let's change this to private. Change visibility, and we're gonna make it private. Okay, we've made that private now. So only people who have access can see this. So if we go back to Eddie Hub, yeah, and we see it. So if you're a member, you see this. Let's just check the other browser. And if I refresh this, they shouldn't see it. So that's pretty cool. So now we can do some customization. So probably a good starting point. I'm gonna grab the public one because that's probably a good starting place to, to have. So if I just grab that and then we'll put it in this private one that we've created for members so i would like to say welcome back welcome back to eddie hub community i think that's a uh, pretty pretty cool collaboration for first code second I mean, maybe we can omit that and we've got this image maybe omit that as well for members they might not need to see that 
And then what do we have underneath? So that was the image. Then we have Meet Hubber, our mascot. Well, we don't need that. They, as a member, they probably know what it is as well. What else? Here, right now on your screen, you're the presence of the most inclusive open source community on the planet. Love that. I think I definitely want to keep that. Organization is home of open source. Make pull requests. All sounds good. This place is welcome to all. So I mean, I've made it slightly different. Maybe that's enough for now and the community can do a lot better than, than me, but it has given me some thoughts on, on what to do. So I'm gonna leave it as update, not the best uh, comment. But now if we go back, we will see it looks a bit shorter. So you can definitely see a difference between the two. But again, for the public one, I am going to probably move how to join the organization up and have a play around. I'm not going to bore you while I play with this and move things around and so forth, but I want to show you that it is possible for members and non-members, and you're welcome to contribute to this. Let us know what's important to you as a non-member and what's important to you as a member, and hopefully we can make these customized uh, GitHub orgs for EddieHub even better. With your point of view, with your feedback, we can. And you can do it with HTML or Markdown. I do encourage to use as much Markdown as possible, but then use HTML when you need to. A link to our GitHub org is in the description below. And while you're down there, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I look forward to geeking out with you between videos and live streams. So I will see you in Discord.